Welcome to the Tax Power GST team. Let's walk through the steps for preparing and filing GSTR3B using Tax Power GST software. Log into your Tax Power GST software. You will see the dealer master window. Here we can see all the client's master records. Search for the client for whom you want to prepare the GSTR3B and double click on it. Select the financial year and month then click OK. This will take you to the GST return dashboard. Click on Open GSTR3B to access the blank return form. We can add records manually by clicking those sections but we will see how to import records and prepare the return. Import data. Click on the import button. You can see the multiple import option given there. Option 1. Excel. We can import data through the Excel. Sample templates can be downloaded through this option. Option 2. JSON file. Option 3. GSTR1 cells. If you file GSTR1 through the software, you can fetch your outward supply summary sales data directly in GSTR3B as well as we could download the system generated summary by GSTN here. Here we fetch data through the software option. Option 4. To get ITC details, click on import and click on import from GSTR to be system generated. ITC can also import fully through the GSTR2 purchase register. The separate video is available to know how to import purchase data and how to do reconciliation with GSTR2B. Import from GSTN. If a client has already uploaded the data to the portal, we can download it here and calculate the liability and create challan through software. System generated GSTR3B. To download the auto generated summary of GSTR3B by GSTN portal, click on this option. Once we get the GSTR1 data, click on import button again to fetch ITC records from GSTR to be system generated. Click on yes and enter the capture if asked. That's how we fetch the ITC data. Now we have all data ready in the form. In certain cases, if you need to adjust the values within a specific section, simply click on that section and enter the relevant values based on your calculations. Additionally, if there is any RCM liability, make sure to include it. Users also have the option to enter their values by liability breaker. If there are values associated with invoices from previous periods related to the original or amended transactions, it can be mentioned here with relevant remarks. Remember that this information is provided solely for reference purposes. Once you have input your sales and ITC records, scroll down to find the quick comparison summary. Within this section, you will see the two key comparisons. One, GSTR3B vs GSTR1 comparison. This comparison highlights any discrepancies in tax liability between your GSTR3B and GSTR1 filings. Click on View Details for Particulars. For ITC comparison, you can also utilize GSTR2A and GSTR2B. Click on Compare GSTR2B to recheck whether you are claiming an appropriate amount of ITC based on GSTR2B data. It shows how much ITC excess or short ITC you are availing as compared to GSTR2B.
after verifying your data, click on e-filing. Here you have to save your prepared data to the GST portal. Then you can create a challan, offset and file your return sequentially. Firstly, click on save at GSTN. There are two options to upload data. One is regular GSTN portal method and second is GSP service that requires OTP. After uploading the data, you can view the status of the upload in the upload stream. It will display the status and any error reports. If the upload is successful, it will show NA in action. Click on the Payment Offset File button. It will fetch the latest input tax credit, ITC and cash balance available from the portal. At this stage, the liability calculation is performed. The first table displays the total tax payable, ITC for the current period and any ITC balance as per the portal. If a cash balance is available, it will be shown here and automatically adjusted in the tax paid in cash section. Scroll down and you will find separate tables containing information related to the interest and late fees. This table includes details such as the available cash balance for interest and late fees. In the last table, the total amount payable is summarized including the total tax, interest and late fees. Click on create challan. You have the option to create the challan either through the portal or using software. Through the portal method, it will redirect to the GST site to create challan. If you choose the software option, all values will update automatically in their respective heads. Select the payment mode and bank and then click on generate challan. After generating the challan, the two buttons will shown here, make payment and download challan. If you are doing the payment, click on make payment. It will open the GST site page outside the software and you will see the payment gateway and there you can make the payment. Otherwise you can download challan to send to the client. Once the payment is done, click on Get ITC Cash Balance. This action will fetch the latest cash balance paid against the liability. It will show the amount in tax paid in cash. The total liability amounts become zero here. After that, it allows us to click on Offset GSTR 3B. Software will compare the data one more time to ensure that our records are properly saved at the GSTN network GSTN. It will display the prepared summary as per the software and the summary as per GSTN. If both summaries match, you can click on submit. However, if there is any difference, the software will prevent us from submitting the return. This feature is actually very beneficial. After offsetting the return, we can click on File GSTR 3B to file return. There you will see the option to file with EVC, GSP Direct, File with Browser and File with DSC Browser option. After completing the filing, click on the green button here to update ARN number and status. Click on GSTR 3B to download the PDF acknowledgement. So this is how you can file your GSTR 3B using TaxPower GST software. If you have any queries related to the software while filing the return, 
kindly reach out to our customer support for further assistance. Thank you for watching the video. We also have a separate video available on how to perform GSTR 2B reconciliation and GSTR 1 filing steps. Thank you.